A couple months ago, I uploaded a video in which we built an interactive functional hamburger menu prototype in Figma. So this is what we created. You would be able to go through individual pages by clicking individual menu items from this menu. And then you'd also be able to go back to the homepage. And somebody then asked a very good question. Is there a way to do this for a mobile one pager? with anchors as menu targets. So what this would mean is you'd get one giant page instead of like five individual ones, right? You would get one very long page with individual sections. And then when you click individual items from this menu, clicking each one of those would scroll you down to the corresponding section, right? It would take you all the way down to whichever section you clicked on in this menu. So that's a very good question to which I responded that yes, that is possible. You can connect individual menu items in a prototype mode to items on the page, which provides a functionality similar to HTML anchor. But actually that is false, or at least it's not possible with this specific setup, right? So in this video, we're gonna try and upgrade this prototype that you can by the way, download from my store if you wanna save time. And we're gonna try to make this work as intended and find a way how to do this if there is one. So let's just quickly go over the functionality that we have right now. As you can see, we get a home page with individual pages you can click through, right? And that is because each of these menu items is connected to the corresponding page. So if, if I select this menu item, you can see how it's connected to page one. And page two is connected to page two. And if we kind of view all of them at once, you can see how these are connected to their corresponding pages. But here's the thing, right? If I wanted to, for example, connect page one to this headline on the page, would basically mean scroll down to this headline. That's not possible, right? So in this specific setup, it is not possible to connect these menu items to individual items on the page that would actually scroll you down. So the way it works now is that you get a header component and then after clicking this section, this hamburger, right? When you tap it, this opens an overlay. And this overlay is right here. This is where all these menu items are basically stored. But as you can see, you cannot connect these individual menu items to items on this one very long page, right? You cannot do that. If you, for example, select the logo from the instance of this component on this page, you can connect that to items on the page, right? So you will be able to achieve this on tap, scroll to, homepage, right? Scroll to a specific object. So as you can see, this is the way that you can achieve the scroll interaction. You actually connect an object from an instance of, of this component to an item on the page, but you can't do the same for an overlay, right? Because this is a simple frame and it is not within the instance of this component. I hope that makes sense. So put simply, if we wanted to connect this menu item to this headline and create a scroll interaction, this overlay would have to be necessary it inside of this instance of this header component, which it isn't, okay? Because you get a, an overlay interaction, overlay interaction isn't the same as having it inside of the component. So what is the workaround that we are trying to achieve here? What we are trying to do is make this, this thing right here, a member, basically a component of this component, right? So make this, we're basically trying to put this inside of this component. So what we would have to do is, first of all, I'm gonna remove all of these remaining pages because we don't need them anymore. And then what we actually need to do is take this menu frame, press Command X, select this header component and press Command V, right? Which will paste this menu frame inside of this header component, right? So now it's inside of the header component. So what we need to do now is I cannot move it, right? Because this header is an auto layout. I have to select this menu frame and go to frame and turn this to absolute position. This will enable me to move this so that it basically the top of this close button aligns precisely with the top of this overall uh, header component, right? So this is what we are looking for. The main point of a hamburger menu is that you don't get this visible at all times, which is now precisely what we have achieved, right? If we paste this menu inside of this header component, we get it visible at all times, wherever we place an instance of this header component, which means that we actually have to create another variant of this component. And we are going to do that by selecting the component and clicking this plus on the top 
frame on the top bar right here. This will create a second variant and I'm going to name this variant open, whereas the first variant is gonna be close. So now what we are going to do is select this whole component and create an auto layout so that we can just organize these things next to each other. I'm gonna make this larger so that you can see both of these variants. So this is what we get now. You get a header component with two states. Both of these are identical. But in the first state, we're gonna hide this menu frame. So let's go to layer and just hide it, right? So we get this. So now with this instance on this page, let's just say mobile one pager. Now with this frame, you now get an instance of this menu and you can change the states between closed and open. And based on that, you will get one of these two, right? Simple enough. So what needs to happen now? Now we actually need to rename these instead of homepage, page one, page two, three and four, we're gonna go for sections. So section one, right? That's going to be the first anchor. Then section two, section four and six. So you, you will get a menu with six items, section one through six. And then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna close this and we now actually need to create these individual sections, right? So I'm gonna use this headline, 100% opacity and make this larger, like 32. I am going to also align this to the left. So command option L and then section one. And of course we have to duplicate this five times so that we get six sections in total. So now, as you can see, we get six individual sections. We have six headlines and now we have to figure out how to actually connect these two individual headlines. So I actually have no idea if this is gonna work, but let's let's find out. Um, so if we now open this menu, first of all, nothing happens because we haven't specified any interaction on the computer component level, which I'm gonna do now. So let's just connect this area, this hamburger menu to this variant, right? So whenever you click on tab, change to property one open. So now at least we should get the menu to open, which is the case. We also need to add a functionality where if we actually click this close button, it actually closes. So now, as you can see, there remains an interaction to close the overlay, which we can remove, but we need to specify that when you click this, you go back to the first variant, right? So on tab, change to property one, close. Brilliant, and now if we try this out, you can see that we can open and close the menu. Um, we can also click individual menu items, but nothing happens, nothing really happens. How do we make this work? So here's what I think. I think the trick is, because you can't actually connect these items from here to any of these sections, the trick is to actually open this right so let's just select an instance of this header component to change that to open so now we need to select the first menu item section one and with this still selected we need to go to interactions click plus and then go to interaction details and on tab scroll to right so it's gonna work probably that's nice section one. So if we click this menu item, it's gonna scroll to section one. And we have to create a tiny offset. I think we have to go for like, let's say 120. Let's go for 120. So minus 120 with this vertical offset. And we're also gonna go for animate so that we actually scroll down. It looks as if you scroll down, right? And then we just need to take the section two, connect that to section two. It's gonna automatically specify that on tap, scroll to section two, minus 120, and then section three, three minus 120, four, minus 120, five, and six. So all of these are now connected to individual sections, but we also have to make sure that a couple things are set up. So first of all, we have to select this header instance and go to prototype and under scroll behavior, we have to set the position to fixed stay in place, right? So that when you actually scroll, you get this header navigation visible at all times. And then what you need to do is also set this back to close. Now the moment of truth we are going to test our prototype and see if it actually works. And here it is. If I open the menu, I can click on section one, which will take me to section one. And then for example, section three and watch how it animates. Section three, we scroll all the way down to section three. So as you can see, 
this works as intended which is great uh, the only thing that's missing is actually if we click this that it automatically closes right unfortunately i can't think of a way how to automatically close this menu you're gonna have to close this on your own every time you scroll to a specific section but still the main functionality is there and it's possible so that's how you do it so let's quickly recap what we actually did we made sure that this menu is actually nested inside of the header component we created two variants and then from the open variant we connected individual menu items to their corresponding sections which in turn is going to enable us to get this type of interaction where you can scroll to individual sections based on how how we connected these right and one limitation that unfortunately uh, I can't think of any workaround for is the fact that when the scroll action is complete this menu actually doesn't close on its own you just have to close it yourself I can't think of any quick workaround you are more than welcome to suggest any if you are actually aware of anything I'll be happy to include that in maybe one of my future videos. So to answer this question that one of my viewers asked me, yes, there is a way to do this, but we have to adjust the prototype as we just did. So thanks for tuning in, leave a like if this video helped you, and I will see you in the next one.